we decided to take a road trip to Jamesport. Uh, we saw many sites and we stopped at Winston, Missouri along the way. Uh, I enjoyed seeing the ponds and the various farms uh, as we traveled. We took a quick detour to Gallanton, which was on the way, and so we didn't go off too far. Uh, here we're at the, uh, I believe, Davis County Courthouse, and so we're going all the way around the uh, courthouse to look at it. After we left Gallatin, we crossed the Grand River. Uh, farmers love to show their tractors. It's, it has helped feed the world. We finally arrive at Jamesport, an Amish community. And so we're driving through very slowly through Jamesport, the downtown, before we go to our first destination, which is the Countryside Bakery and the H&M store, both Amish stores. One sells bread and the other sells bulk foods. You know you're in Amish country when you see a horse and carriage. Our destination was H&M Country Store. Uh, however, we saw a countryside bakery right next door to them, so we decided to stop there first, and then we went to H&M. Rini decided to drive around to determine where she wanted to park, and so I caught a lot of views here as we drove around H&M. Countryside Bakery had an assortment of bread and uh, donuts. I really enjoyed the place. Grandma loves jalapeno jam, jalapeno bread, so they had jalapeno bread here, so we bought her some. Rini bought plain donuts, but they have chocolate-filled, cream-filled donuts, all kinds of donuts. After buying our bread, we just walked right next door to H&M Country Store. One of the things that caught my wife's eye was Michigan maple syrup, since we're from Michigan. I'll share a few photos of the store. It was different than Lilac Bulk and the Country Store and the other stores. Every store has something unique, such as this store had Amish hats. So my son is trying them on. As you can tell, he looks very, very happy. <laughs> And of course, I had to try on a hat, and eventually I bought a bigger hat that you will see later in the video. Rini said that this store was compact with many interesting things. She's uh, working up 
price comparisons to kind of see which store has what at a lower price. One thing that caught my eye was all the spices. I don't remember a lot of spices in the other stores. They probably had them, but this one uh, definitely caught my eye. All the bulk food places have candy, and when I look at the ingredients, they seem very similar. Sugar, corn syrup, you name it. Happy wife, happy life. She seemed to really be enjoying herself. Really engaged with Eric to keep him excited. You know how it is, guys, in shopping. Price on this wagon really blew my mind. $259. Wow. There were horses right next to the store, which is a, was a delightful scene. I noticed they powered their place with solar panels as well as with a windmill. Now off to James Port Country Store. What I noticed about this store was it was larger than H&M store. It had a bulk food section. Also, it had groceries too. Uh, very delightful store. One thing I noticed about the stores in Jamesport that the uh, cashiers were all uh, Amish or Mennonite women, where in Windsor, Missouri, they were all men who were cashiers. We only visited five places in Jamesport, the Countryside Bakery, H&M Store, Jamesport Country Store. Then we go to Crowder State Park and we came back to the Festive Park as well as Jamesport City Park to grab some pictures. I learned that Jamesport, Missouri is the largest old border Amish settlement west of the Mississippi River. Now we're headed to Crowder State Park, which is about 12 miles north of Jamesport. As you travel north, you'll see a number of Amish, Amish settlements or farms. You see a large cross on the highway. That's where you turn left to go to Crowder. Crowder State Park has tennis courts. Crowder State Park has a small lake that only allows electric motor boats, uh, canoes, kayaks, paddle boats. We turned back and turned on the road next to the tennis courts to go to the beach and the boat launch. And this is where we decided to have uh, lunch. What do you guys think of Crowder State Park so far? Eric, what do you think of Crowder State Park? Is that yes? You like it? Crowder State Park has a beach, it's really nice.
Rini says she saw two copper heads. She said they were large. She was very dramatic with her movements and how they swam. She was quite excited, but I never did see them. She just reminded me that Eric did see them. She said she saw them under this bridge. We did try fishing um, just to see if we'd get any bites and whether it's worth coming back. I did go ahead and uh, fish farther down the dam and did get two strikes there. I think they probably were panfish. You are limited to four bass, largemouth bass, between 12 and 15 inches and 30 crappie. I think they were panfish. Well, we decided to go back to Jamesport to get some pictures at the Festive Park as well as the City Park. And here we are going back through the town of James Port. And here we are at the Festive Park. This is known as the Little Brick House. This brick house was the first brick house built in James Port, and it's located west of the park. The first white man to buy government land in, the, in this vicinity was Jesse Harris in 1830. The log cabin that he built to house his family in 1836 now stands in the Jamesport City Park. This ends our video of our visit to Jamesport. There are so many things to do that you can find out in their visitor guide. I'd urge you to come out.